Welcome to my channel. This tutorial will show you how to compress video files on Mac to get smaller file size without losing quality. The first method is to use the built-in app QuickTime Player 10. It offers lower resolution export presets for smaller file sizes. If you want lossless quality, consider third-party software like System Video Compressor. It can compress video to your desired size easily and quickly. The first way is to use QuickTime Player. Here is a video about 2 GB large. Right-click on the video and click Get Info. Here you can view the video resolution. It's a 4K video with 3840 by 2160 pixels. Then open it with QuickTime Player. If your video can't be opened, head to the next way. Go to File, Find Export as option, and choose a lower resolution to shrink the file size. I prefer to keep HD quality, so I'll go with 1080p here. In the window that appears, name your compressed video and choose where you want to save the file. Note that the QuickTime can output only MOV video, even if you input an MP4 file. Please note that if you choose high resolution 1080p and above, it will allow you to choose HEVC as the video codec. It can provide about 20 to 50% smaller file size than common H.264 codec. But the compression time gets several times longer, so I'd go with H.264 to save time. So here are compressed video results. The video is only 618 megabytes, about a quarter of the original size. I also tried the 720p option, and the result is 432 megabytes. Here are screenshots of the videos for comparison. You can see that the video quality has visually dropped, especially at 720p, the image is a bit blurry. In conclusion, QuickTime Player is a useful built-in tool for compressing video, but there are problems, for example, the video you want to compress may not be opened at all, and the output format is limited to MOV, no MP4 option, and it cannot batch compress video files. To solve these issues, you can try a third-party program, System Video Compressor. It's a dedicated video compressor, providing free trial version. It accepts any video format and can reduce file size by 90% without visual quality loss. After installation, launch the software and simply drag and drop video files onto it. On the left side is the source video info, and on the right side is the result info including the estimated file size. For a simple compression, just select a target bitrate compression percentage at the bottom left. For example, if you target 30%, the output file size will be about 70% smaller. To adjust the compression method, click the gear icon to open a new window. Here you can target a more precise compression ratio. And change the bitrate control method. VBR is selected by default. In the format section, you can select the output format and adjust the corresponding video and audio codecs. For example, HEVC and AV1 provide more efficient compression. As for other options like resolution, frame rate, etc., I usually leave them at their default settings. Click OK to save the changes. Click the preview button to preview the first 20 seconds of the compressed video. Make sure you like the result quality. Finally, click the Start button here to start compressing the video on your Mac. When finished, click the check icon to quickly locate it. The compressed version is only 600 megabytes, about 70% smaller. Compared to the original video, you can see that the video quality is fully preserved, the image is crystal clear. That's it. I hope this video helped you shrink videos for better sending or storage. Subscribe to learn more techniques.